Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today I got to make a, uh, a hinge. Um, I could go to the store and I could buy one, um, but I don't need it to be anything special. I just needed something to work. And uh, the hinge is actually going to go on a pig pen. You've seen these uh, cattle fence pig pens. They're like 16 by 16. Um, I've got the fence up. I've got the post set in. Um, and I use regular steel fence post up until the point where I'm actually making the gate. And there I actually just dug a hole, put my four, four by four in. Um, it's about four feet wide. And I've got the, uh, I just leveled it and then packed the hole full of, uh, full of gravel, both mixed, loose, uh, larger gravel, larger stones, smaller stones. I just kept packing it in and then put sand on top of that and then poured water over it to get the sand to pack down in there. Um, and that right there I've heard is actually better than cement. But um, so anyway, back to the, uh, the hinges. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna use pieces, just scrap pieces of stuff that I've got. Um, if you can't see in front of me here, I've got just a whole mess of, of parts and things like that that I, I disassembled. I found at the scrap yard a, uh, two just the bases for some motorized wheelchairs and I took them apart and I got a bunch of parts from it. Um, and this is just one of the things I think actually the spring actually went to it. Um, it's just one of the shocks that were in it. And uh, it's got a brass bushing. It's got a bolt that fits it. I actually plan on using that for, uh, for the, the, the hinge itself. Um, so now I need something to be able to mount this. So my plan is I'm going to take some scrap pieces of a little, looks like one, one and a half inch angle iron. I'm going to weld it to it and that way I can screw this to the fence post. may have to cut it a little shorter because I think my fence post is four inches. So I may cut this a little bit shorter. Um, and then as far as the other side of it goes, I think, how did I have that planned? Oh, actually, no, <laughs> this is the side I was just going to, just going to drill the uh, drill a hole for this make sure there's clearance for this to be able to swing open and close and then drill a couple of holes in here to mount it again it's going in a four by four so i need to go ahead and do that you know make it a little bit shorter so it'll fit um, and then over on this part i just got a scrap piece of flat bar i'm not sure this looks like maybe three sixteenths and uh, and it's tall enough that i think i can just put it here on this shaft i don't know if you could see that very well but just a round shaft that sticks out of here. It's all steel of some sort. Um, just go ahead and put that to where I need it and weld it on. And uh, I may do it a little centered so I can weld both sides of it and just see how it works. Then I can just drill me some holes in this flat bar so I can mount it to the actual gate. So that's my plan. Let's see how it goes. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna fast forward through all this, but I'm just gonna take the flat disc and go ahead and Everywhere where I'm going to weld, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. So stand by. All right, so that took some time. I don't know if this thing's, and it's still a little warm. I don't know if that's mill scale on it or if that's a primer that they put on before this paint that got on this flat bar. Um, so I think it's mostly mill, mill scale, uh, but I just cleaned up the side that I was going to weld. I mean, I cleaned it all up, but I didn't get the mill scale off of the side I'm not welding. And uh, so it shouldn't really matter. But now we need to cut it to length. So I got this four by four here because that's what I'm using to mount it to. And now I just got to cut it. Cut both sides of it here. Right, so you can see I got a little problem. Well, something I need to solve anyway. If I put this on here and I weld it in the wrong direction, let's say uh, we have this angled down like this, it's going to always try to wear and it's going to be a really tight pivot on the uh, on the hinge. So I need it to be straight up and down. So the easiest way I think to do this is to go ahead and do what I'm doing here, which is go ahead and put it in its place on the uh, on the angle iron. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a center punch and mark our hole for that one. And then uh, do the same thing with the next one so that 
we can mount these to it and that'll help keep it flat. So whenever we go welding, it shouldn't be an issue. Just make sure everything pivots properly. Now we just need to drill those out so we can mount these to it. All right, thanks to a buddy of mine, he got, actually uh, sold this drill press to me. Pretty cheap, um, but it'll be a good addition to the channel, good addition to the shop. But we're going to start out with an eighth inch drill bit, start our hole, and then we're going to work our way up. Definitely not the best quality bit there. All right, camera died, so I went ahead and finished drilling it and then deburred it. Um, but anyway, I've got it set up in here. Just got the bolt going through. It's holding this thing to keep it from canting one way or the other, giving it my nice 90 degree that I'm looking for so that this plane and this plane should be about the same. Um, and then I just went ahead and stacked this up here so that it would be about where it needs to be, clamped it down, and, uh, and then I'm just going to tack weld it in a couple of places here. That way I can go ahead and finish the weld and then I'll have plenty of room here to go ahead and drill uh, to be able to mount it to the post. So after I'm done, then I'll go ahead and cut this to the size that I need it to. So I put it in the vise, flipped over of course, because I wanted to, uh, you can't really start very well on the parts that are welded. Um, and that weld is so wide that we'll probably be going through it. Hopefully it doesn't break the drill bit, but we're going to start on the flat side. Um, about the only way you could get around it is to uh, get a mill or milling cutter and actually try to mill through it, mill it flat and then drill it. Um, so we're going to go with this way instead. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get through it without breaking our drill bit. So I just punched out the holes. I didn't even measure because it doesn't matter. It's just screwing into a fence post. So we're just going to drill three holes there for screws and I'll keep widening the holes until my screw fits through. There we go. Just gotta do the other one. And honestly, I thought about I need to drill holes in this, of course, but um, I thought about cutting it short. I'll just put this part on the gate. That way it doesn't matter how long it is. We'll just be able to get it to go uh, you know on the top and bottom boards and it'd be fine. So we just need to put three holes in this and then do the other part and we'll be done. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and gave these things a quick uh, spray with paint just to uh, keep them from rusting. And uh, then I put them together, put a few washers in there just to get the spacing right and everything, but um, works like it should. Just a matter of going and installing it on the gate. Of course, I still got to build the gate. So as soon as I get that done, I'll show you real quick here at the end what it all looks like. Um, but it's, this was scrap materials, things I've taken apart. Um, that's why I always keep stuff like that around. Um, normally what I do is I take things apart, I get all the useful stuff out of it. Anything else I kind of toss in my scrap bin and I just let that just keep piling up until I get enough to actually make it worthwhile to take it in or something. Um, and then I can just go out there and look through it anytime I want and see if there's anything that is usable at that point in time um, where I didn't have a use for it before. So this stuff is all just scrap. So I could have gone out and bought something, but this right here is repairable. 
It seems like it's going to work fine. And yeah, you may think that, that you know, this being on a gate for pigs is not going to be strong enough, um, but this has just got to keep the gate up. It's a four foot gate. It's just wood. It's not weighing that much. Um, the gate is actually going to close in and go against something. So that if the pigs actually pushed on it or something, it would, it wouldn't be able to push through. So, but it wouldn't break the hinges in order to do it. Um, the only issue may have is if they tried to step on it and push it down, but it's going to be pretty low anyway. So I'm thinking it'd just bend if that were the case. So, so seems to work pretty good. Got no problems with it. Should work fine. All I got to do is build a little latch mechanism. And I think I may have one of those. So I may not even have to, um, just to make sure that it doesn't swing open or something, but it's good to go. So you got any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, put them in the comments down there. Love to read them. Try to keep it clean if you can, because nobody wants to read that. And if you got anything else that you'd like me to do, um, you've seen some of the stuff I've got, all the tools that I have, things like that, uh, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll see if I can't do it. So that's all I got for you guys. So until next time, y'all take care.